Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. No fewer than six people have died in a road accident on the Akure Elisha Expressway. Confirming the disaster, the Federal Road Safety Corps said it happened on Wednesday evening and it also left seven people injured. Public Relations Officer of the FRSU Ndo Command, Omotala Ogumbawu, said the accident involved three vehicles, including two Toyota vehicles and one truck. She attributed the cause of the disaster to loss of control and wrong overtaking on the part of the drivers. The federal government has approved a bill for the establishment of a new anti-corruption agency named Proceeds of Crime Recovery and Management Agency. Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, who announced the development, said the agency will be responsible for proper coordination of all recovered looted assets. Malami, speaking after the Federal Executive Council meeting in Abuja, stressed that once the bill becomes law and the agency is established, it would see to proper documentation and management of such recovered assets and thereby guarantee transparency and accountability. The Nigeria Labour Congress has issued a two-week ultimatum to the federal government to reverse its decision on the hikes in electricity tariff and the fuel pump prices or face civil unrest nationwide. The Congress handed down the warning at its Central Working Committee meeting in Abuja on Wednesday and it stressed that it would mobilize its members nationwide for protest as from September 28. Meanwhile, Minister of Labour and Employment, Chris Singigi, has rejected the ultimatum issued by the Trade Union Congress, saying it was misplaced. A tough penalty awaits convicted rapist in Kaduna State following the signing of a new law by Governor Nasir El Rufai. In a tweet on Wednesday, Wednesday evening, El Rufai confirmed that he has approved the amended penal code passed by the state legislature last week, which prescribes surgical castration and death sentence for those convicted of raping a child below the age of 14. In addition to the castration of the convicted rapist, the new law recommends a 21-year jail term for the rape of an adult and a life imprisonment for the rape of a minor. The total number of confirmed COVID-19 infections in Nigeria has risen to 56,604 after 126 new cases were recorded on Wednesday. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, 17 states accounted for the new infections. Three new deaths were also recorded on Wednesday, taking the total number of deaths from the virus to 1,091, while a total of 47,872 persons have recovered and have been discharged. U.S. President Donald Trump has expressed renewed confidence that a viable COVID-19 vaccine would be ready by October, directly contradicting a top administration health expert and facing fierce criticism from his Democratic election rival, Joe Biden. Trump sowed confusion about the issue with an extraordinary public rebuke of one of his top health experts who said masks were a leading weapon for fighting the COVID-19 pandemic and that the vaccine was likely, was unlikely to be widely available until mid-2021. The contradiction between Trump and the health experts on an issue that has become a focal point of the 2020 election campaign highlighted the lack of trust, Biden said, and he and the public have in the president's handling of the pandemic, which has killed nearly 200,000 Americans. Talking sports now, Super Eagles of Nigeria moved up from the 31st to 29th position in the latest FIFA World Ranking. The ranking was published on FIFA's official website. The new ranking saw the Eagles now occupy the third in Africa behind Senegal, which is 20th in the world, and Tunisia, which is 26th in the world. Meanwhile, Belgium, France, Brazil, and England all remained at number one, two, three, and four across the world, respectively. And that's the latest from the newsroom at this time. Many thanks for watching.